Hey, we're on day four of the Pin to Profit Challenge. I just wanna say, you're crushing it. I am so proud of you. Today's a big, big day. We're talking about one of the most important parts of Pinterest, which is keywords and creating your board titles. There's so much that goes into keyword optimization on Pinterest that we're not gonna be able to cover everything in this challenge. It's there's a lot, um, but I want to get you started with understanding a little bit more about how keywords work and how you can title them on your boards. So one of the most important things to know is that again, Pinterest is a search engine. So I've told you that before. Did you write it down? This is like key. This is everything. And so it's really important that you're optimizing everything that you're doing on Pinterest for search. So when people are searching for something, they end up finding you. So when it comes to board titles, I want you to think about what it is that your ideal client would be searching for. And so instead of just naming a board something like Stuff I Love, which is no one's searching for that, think about who your ideal client is and how you could add value to them through your boards. And think about when they go to Pinterest, what are they searching for? So I'll give you an example. If I'm teaching people how to eat gluten-free, instead of just saying stuff some, like titling a board, uh, recipes I love or something like that, we would change it to easy gluten-free breakfast ideas or easy gluten-free breakfast recipes. You can kind of see how that works. It's very specific and it's something that's searchable. So let me give you an example. One of my clients is in the fitness space and, and you know, with, with everything, it's easy to be so general of just using keywords like weight loss. And I told her, I'm like, you can totally stand out here. And I, I told her, you're, you're intermittent fasting, you're already doing this and you're doing eating for your macros, like if it fits your macros. Why don't you just make everything that you're doing on Pinterest in your blog about that? So you know what she did? Everything is about intermittent fasting for women and if it fits your macros. And she's literally dominating this space on Pinterest. She's getting new leads into her business every single day. She hasn't touched that business in months and is still making money from that because she's using these keywords the right way. She's showing up on Pinterest and Google because of this, like so, so cool. So let's actually go to Pinterest and I'm gonna show you how this works. So we are up on Pinterest and I just want to show you some of the board titles that I have just so it can give you an idea of what you can be doing here, okay? So I all my boards, they're not, so I teach Pinterest, but I thought about what would really serve my ideal client. And so I have a board on Pinterest marketing tips, but I also think, shoot, like she's probably struggling with her mindset and needs help with money mindset work. So I have a board money mindset for entrepreneurs. I also am like a huge, fan of social entrepreneurship and that's a big part of what our company is about. And so I'm like, hmm, this is a really good niche, by the way, if that's something you're into, there's not a lot of content on there. So I have a board titled social entrepreneurship ideas. So you can see it's, it's all these boards are things that are supporting my ideal client. So let me actually give you this example of intermittent fasting. So I start typing that in and what you're gonna see is that these keywords start popping up. These are the more specific search terms. This is my fitness Pinterest account. That's cool, that pops up first. So I type intermittent fasting for women. Okay, that's my pin that I pinned like a year and a half ago, still at the very top. That's a client who's at the very top. Another client who's at the very top. Here she is again. So do you see how this can kind of work if you're using the right keywords, how you can show up and dominate? Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, so it's homework time. So I want you to go to Pinterest and just start typing in niche specific keyword terms and see what pops up. And I want you to come up with five different board ideas. And these are gonna be boards that are going to be, you know, helping your ideal client. What are the, some of the things that they're struggling with? So they're niche specific and they're helping your ideal client. And what I want you to do is write one board title and one board description that's Again, keeping your ideal client in mind. So these board descriptions, let me actually go to Pinterest and show you what this could look like. Okay, so here is an example. I have one board that's specifically for all of my blog content. So on this one, I titled it my blog post, but I also used some keywords in there explaining how it's relevant and what we talk about in the board description itself. So in board descriptions, you can use keywords in there too. So the main thing is I'm just telling people what it is. I'm not keyword stuffing, I'm being conversational. So I'm letting people know this board is all about yada yada, talking about what it's about. And then I have a call to action, head to the blog to grab my free thing. 
And then I also have a few hashtags here. So we're not gonna be talking about hashtags in this challenge, but hashtags can be used on Pinterest, which is really, really cool. Um, so you can add some hashtags there if you want. Okay, so that's your homework. Get to work on that. And then make sure to share your homework with us in the Facebook group and use the hashtag pin to profit day four. And then be sure to join me live at 11 a.m. Eastern. We're gonna be diving in deeper into keywords and four titles. I will review yours to make sure that you're on the right track and we're doing things this the right way. So I'll see you for our live. And just a reminder, we're giving away $1,000 towards one of our online courses. So if you've been participating in that challenge, keep it up. So what I need you to do is do your homework and then post a picture of something you're learning, a takeaway, whatever you wanna share, and just tag me on Instagram at she's making an impact and use the hashtag she's making an impact. All right, get to work and I'll see you for our live Q&A. Bye.